Chad, are you ready for episode two? Season two, episode two, that is. Well, let's do it. The prize task. What have we asked them to bring in this week, Alex? Okay, well, it's a tricky one. We've asked them to bring in their trendiest item of clothing. Oh. So whoever's brought in their nattiest threads will win the first points of the show, and the overall winner of the episode will take home a brand new outfit. <laughs> okay, Richard, let's start with you. My whole life, people have spelt my name wrong, so I think I'm one of the Osmonds, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Mormon singing group from, uh, from the USA. And I'm not, I'm an Osman, but someone has very kindly done a T-shirt of all the Osmonds, but with my face. <laughs> 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 I brought in some amazing leggings. I am a trend setter, and I think that. Oh, wow. unicorn wow. T Rex with lasers? This is a unicorn versus a robotic dinosaur of some kind. Okay. Yeah, that classic clash of the. <laughs> John, what do we know about your chosen clothes other what? than it came from a kid's shop? <laughs> <laughs> I brought along a cardigan. Uh... <laughs> What you can't see in that picture is it's actually the joy of this cardigan is that you see the black lining there sewn into the cardigan is another cardigan. Mm -hmm. So it's like a black waistcoat and then a grey cardigan. That's cool. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, simple, bought my best tie. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just the one I get most wolf whistles in. <laughs> Top. These are... Basically, waterproof converse. They're like wellies with laces. Yeah, I just think they're ridiculous, man. But, like, you know, that's, that, in my mind, that's what trendy is. Just, you know, trendy does mean very fashionable or up to date. Okay, well, that exactly. rules out several of them straight away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, there's a degree of self obsession in yours, Rich. A degree? <laughs> <laughs> Osman's in last place. Yes. <laughs> Tom. Uh, I like the unicorn pants. I'm going to put them in second place. Whoa. So, you're doing, so you're doing fifth first and then second yeah, yeah. second? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just doing it based on instinct. I'm going to put John... <laughs> I was going to put John in first place. So he started looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put him in third. <laughs> Don't look at him. Don't look at him. <laughs> um, I'm going to put him in third place. Okay. I'm going to put... I think uh, that lots of trendy people will wear those stupid rubber trainers. I'm okay. putting him in first place. Okay. Okay. So wow. fourth place to Joe. Yeah. <laughs> there, I've spoken. So the winner is Mr. Doc Brown. OK, fine. <laughs> OK, great. Next task. OK, here is the first main task. This? Yes, please. Not a trap, is it? If it's make a baby, I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. Make the best music video for a nursery rhyme. You have one hour and your time Starts now. Music video for Can't think of any nursery ones. You've got kids, come on. What do you sing to them? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah. Hey, diddle, diddle, of course. The cat did a piddle, we used to sing at school. <laughs> hey, diddle, diddle, the cat did a piddle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All over the kitchen floor. The little doggy laughed to see such fun, so the cat did a little bit more. <laughs> Is that one? <laughs> Do you know, peanut on a railroad track, heart all aflutter, along comes a great big train, choo-choo peanut butter. OK. I've never heard that in my life. You OK, Joe? <laughs> this is the best character. OK, I'm all over it. None of us know that song, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why? Because it's clearly a fever dream you want. <laughs> Do you want to start with the youngest male? I don't mind who we start with. I love videos, I love songs, I love nursery rhymes. Put them all together, let's party. OK, well, here is... <laughs> here's a party held by Mr John Richardson. I hate it! <laughs> Okay, you like mice? Oh no. Oh fuck, oh god, oh fuck. Oh, that is terrifying. Very funny. That's funny. That's gross. 
I mean, the response says it all. Incredible. Incre <laughs> incredibly disturbing. <laughs> Well, Catherine did aim more at the youth market. Yeah. So you heard... <laughs> I made a music video for kids. Yeah. Great. This is Catherine's video. He's orange and looking rotten. His toothbrush long forgotten. That's James. James the dirty tooth. Brush, brush. <laughs> Candy crisps and sweets gave him brittle roots for feet. That's James. James the dirty tooth. Brush, brush. <laughs> I love James, I love James in spite of tooth decay. Ginger bite his plaque bad breath, we're best friends anyway. Oh, bad boy. But bunnies don't like him, this hat doesn't like him, kittens and foxes and puppies don't like him, his parents don't like him, I love but don't like him. Yeah, nobody likes him because James, oral hygiene, stinks. James, <laughs> a dirty tooth. Go to the dentist. <laughs> I love that. Strangely creepy still. So listen, I wrote it because I really care about oral hygiene and I feel like there aren't any nursery rhymes about it. Is that allowed, making up the nursery rhyme? God. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, there's no Two laws. separate things. It's a question, is that allowed? Secondly, smell this. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed that we were all making them up and then I thought, what do I want children to know about? About a dirty tooth. <laughs> James, yeah. I don't yeah. like you if you don't brush your teeth. So you are allowed to make up nursery rhymes. There's no rules against that. Yeah. Ah, then it's great. She also wrote the music, illustrated it, sung it, and used my <laughs> awful teeth to demonstrate how bad. You have great be. teeth. Mm. Thank you for cameo. I can fit a pound coin through my front two teeth. Yeah. That, that, not that way. That way out. <laughs> <laughs> That's so you don't get stolen from supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> well done. What's next? Uh, well, it's Richard Osman, and uh, he had a different approach. Do you want to explain <coughs> slightly? I thought whenever you watch videos, you watch them on YouTube these days, and uh, the first thing is there's always an advert on beforehand. So I uh, enlisted <laughs> Alex's help. We made a little advert before, before our video. Oh, nice. Should we watch it? Yeah. OK. I used to borrow my neighbour's wheelbarrow before I bought a Johnson's wheelbarrow. Now my neighbour asked to borrow my wheelbarrow. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Can I borrow your Johnson's wheelbarrow? No, you have to buy your own Johnson's wheelbarrow. Uh, Johnson's wheelbarrows are the best wheelbarrows. Last place. <laughs> I mean, it's got to be a last place, right? <laughs> round the mountain when she comes. Oh, no, man. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. Come round the mountain. Coming round the mountain when she comes She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes She'll be wearing red pajamas I don't know why he's just wearing fucking people up pajamas, Wearing red pajamas when she comes I mean, probably my favourite part of the whole thing was uh, the idea that Richard Osman lives in a shed. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Doc Brown next. Precious on Doc. Doc Brown. What's up, kids? You know a lot of these nursery rhymes chat pure gibberish, fantasy. This one's got some real talk for you, yeah? Hashtag true story. Yo, it goes one, two to the three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, I said six, seven to the eight, nine, ten. Then I let that little go again. You say, oh, if you let it go, bit my finger, bro. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Bang. Oh, no. <laughs> that had some angst. I mean, what's your problem with fish, mate? <laughs> not a fish, man. Not an egg, man. Not an egg, man. Not a fish, man. We filmed that. It took an hour. There was genuine... It was a mixture of blood and fake blood. Why were you bleeding? Well, because I punched that salmon <laughs> in his face so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I had scales off the fish that were embedded into my actual uh, hand. Oh. I'm not sure it was in the spirit of the original nursery rhyme, right? <laughs> but that was really good, wasn't it? Do you want to contrast that with uh, Joe Wilkinson? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Well, it's just different energy levels, these two. But, um, <laughs> here's Joe Wilkinson's. Oh, attempt. Joe, it's going to be <laughs> in it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. <laughs> with an oink, oink here and an oink, oink there, everywhere, an oink, oink. 
with a quack quack here and a quack quack there. <laughs> That's how the quack, goes. quack With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Everywhere moo moo. With a nay nay here and a nay nay there. Everywhere nay nay. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Everywhere cluck cluck. With a bar bar here and a bar bar there. Everywhere bar bar. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I O. <laughs> All right, Joe, you did your best. I, mean, I found it genuinely annoying. <laughs> I, I did as well. <laughs> Why do you think I found that so annoying? Because he wasn't getting the song right, Greg. Correct, John. <laughs> Here a noink, there a noink. Everything Here a quack, there a quack. We didn't know where the yonks were or the quacks. <laughs> 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 On that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with a... What, what song are you singing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to yeah. go from least favourite to favourite? Do it I the do. other way. Do it the other way. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way I see it, and the audience will back me up on it. Joe, I mean, clearly is in last place. <laughs> uh, I'm jumping up to Richard, living in his shed. Then Catherine, I thought was excellent, but that's where I'm placing her. And then for a joint winners, I'm putting uh. Doc... And John. Okay. Everyone happy with that? Okay. Another beautiful day. Ha. Using this camera. Take a picture of an inanimate object that looks like you. Easy, I look like everything. Closest <laughs> resemblance wins. Okay. Time starts now. Shout, what do I look like if I had to be an inanimate object? Like a mop? Uh, like a, a, a mop head? A monkey? I guess legally. A broom? All right, let's mm -hmm. have a look. Okay, we've got all five up here, so see what you think of these. Mm, I don't know if you can work out who's who. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the Ken doll is actually amazing. <laughs> and do you know what? If you'd just shown me the toaster, I still would have guessed Joe. <laughs> 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 Am I supposed to guess who I think? Yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, it's a process of elimination, I suppose. Okay, well, I think it's unlikely that anyone else thinks that they look like the guy from JLS. <laughs> <laughs> would have, would have been mean... a very ballsy call if I said that. <laughs> 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 no, that's good. That's it's really a desperate good. call, really. I saw that doll and I thought, boom. I don't think you look like Marvin from JLS, and Neither I think you I. should I be desperate. disqualified for racism. Wow. <laughs> he should be disqualified for racism. On what grounds? Be? On what grounds? Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> you think Doc should be disqualified for racism? Yeah, he thinks that two black men look alike. That's racist. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Do you want to move on to the toaster? Yes. You've deduced it's Joe. And, I have, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We do have a second picture of Joe where he looks... Well, there's more of a similarity. Ah. <laughs> I see it. Hey, I see it. Let's be honest. Romping into the lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you already have the toaster picture? That is none of your business. <laughs> is that your toaster with a punch in it? Yeah. It's just a, it's a de-stressor. <laughs> OK, this is John's. Do you want to explain what it is, John? <coughs> yes, it's a 3D printout of me. Whoa! <laughs> we do have it here. Cool! Oh! oh man. Yeah, what? the actual thing's incredible. Mm, actual yeah. size. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what it looks like if John's standing next to it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's great. If, if I'd have just seen the picture, I'd have said it was but up close, it's incredible. Where'd you get that printed off? 3D printers. Lovely. <laughs> 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 OK, we've got one, uh, Catherine Ryan here on the right. Yes. And Catherine Ryan on the left. Wow. Yeah. Whoever the lady on the left is, she appears to have incredibly wide, <laughs> low-slung breasts. <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> from a box of the shapewear known as Spanx. Yep, you know about Spanx? I've seen them. Yeah. And honestly, I found them really upsetting. <laughs> they are very upsetting. The last one? You want to see the last one? Yeah. Osman. Oh! <laughs> wow, I didn't like it until now I see it. I mean, that is I mean, incredible. <laughs> Even I 
double take when I walk past. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel safe when I'm around you as well. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's really brilliant. The scores are as follows. In okay. first place, it's Richard Osman. Second wow. place, it's John Richardson. And he oh. What? The doll was so good. He doesn't deserve it. Third place, <laughs> Catherine. Fourth place, Toaster Face. Fifth place, Doc. Done. Okay. <laughs> Why did Doc get last? Am I missing something? Order the following pizza for the Taskmaster. You may not use the following words. Extra large vegetarian pizza. <laughs> Pepperoni, <laughs> bacon, tomato, cheese. Bacon, tomato, <laughs> cheese. You get a bonus point if you can make the pizza person say the word bubbles. I would, I would be the worst of this. It makes me so uncomfortable bringing other people into it. Uh, they had to order extra large vegetarian pizza with bacon and pepperoni, without tomato and cheese, without saying any of those useful words. Okay? Yeah. Here they are. Larger than large pie with no red or gooey stuff, pig meat. Child has not been recognized. I'd like to make an order, please. I'd like a uh, one of your round doughy Oh, you can't meals, say pizza. Please. <laughs> the biggest size. Uh, extra large. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, without the red sauce and w without the um, fromage. <laughs> <laughs> you need a stuff crust, garlic? No extras, no, no extras. Sorry? No extras. And I would like with it, please, I'd extras. like some um, circular thin meat. Um, what's that called? The circular thin... Hello? Yeah, when you say, when you say pork, what kind of pork do you mean there? Do you mean like the type you have for breakfast, you know, that you fry up, that kind of slices of pig? Oh, yeah, is that like a pig? Like a pig, yeah, but... Slices of pig, what's that? Um, oh, God, my mind's gone blank. You know, like you'd have with eggs in the morning? No, no eggs. No, not eggs. <laughs> you know, like you have with eggs, you know what I mean? Where you have sausage and, and eggs pork and... Sausage. Pork is a sausage. I know sausage is pork, I, I do know that. Um... No, no. Bacon. Bacon, yeah. B O C O N. Bone. B no, not bone. B A C. Bacon, bacon. Yes. Do you have any of that? <laughs> you, yes, we have bacon. Ah, oh, brilliant. Lovely. I love you. <laughs> Bye -bye. Do I lose a point for saying bacon back? You don't need a sauce, you don't need a cheese. That's exactly right. Bacon and pepperoni. Yeah. It's a different pizza. Yeah, it's a different pizza for a different guy. Maybe you'll remember me. She was great. I can't believe I said pizza, though. Yeah, that's tough. He said it, like, three times. And he said extra a couple times. Yeah, I mean, you said she was great at the end. Halfway through, <laughs> you were clearly irritated with her. <laughs> I know what sausage is. I do know that. <laughs> <laughs> She's the dick in this scenario. <laughs> but how many... Mistakes to well, make. You're not allowed to say the word extras, and you said it. I said uh, extras about five times, yeah, like from at the very beginning. Yeah, well, you said it three times, and he said pizzas at the end. Well, how did um, Joe do? One mistake. Oh. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. And we can see the pizzas. We obviously went and picked up the oh, pizzas. Yeah. The uh, oh, wow. correct order. Wow. There was no cheese. It looks like cheese, but that's just the, the base. It's meat on bread. <laughs> just just how, how I like, like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> We're now going to see Catherine, John, and Richard order the pizza. Hello, can I please order like a venti? You know, like your biggest <laughs> size. There's something about like white Western woman using Starbucks sizes to order a pizza for a competition that really makes me laugh. Have you got a meat? Can you do a meat free one? Vegetarian, you mean? Yes, please. What the the discs of it's uh, like spicy pork. You have got pepperoni beef. Yes, that please. Uh, the first one. The one that's like circles? Pepperoni? Yes! Uh, it has beef, sauces, bacon, ham, pepperoni. Um, could I have the last one? I mean, it comes all together. No, but that, if, if, I, if, I, if I could just get it specially made, but all I want is two types of meat, and that would be. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm, I've got, I'm surrounded by uh, people here, all of, all of whom want something different. <laughs> <laughs> can I have it without tomato, please? Do you have anything else? Pork? Salami, uh, garlic sausage, meatball. Do you have like a breakfast pizza or anything like that? Uh, no, we don't have that one. Like one is like the breakfast kind, you know. Yeah, bacon. Yes, that's it. Uh, no dairy on it, if possible. Okay, you want cheese as well, yeah? No, pl no, 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 please. Do they call it a white pizza or a Bianca? 
have you got one with like a barbecue base? Uh, we do, we do barbecue base Lovely. or pizza yeah. sauce. Yeah. Have a great day. You too, bye bye. Bye. Easy. So easy. Huh? Oh. What's wrong? I might not have told him that I didn't want cheese. Oh, <laughs> big cheesy pizza. Hello, I just spoke to you. I just placed an order. I I don't want the the um, pie to have the stuff on it that melts. You know the. Oh, I forget the word for this as well. I'm not from England. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Wow, saved. Nice job, Captain. Nice job. We're on episode two. Season. Richard was the only one to not say any of the words. Catherine said the one. John said the two. Do you want to see their pizzas? They're Catherine and John's. I think, yeah, you can see John's Corn? is vegetarian with the meat and no tomato and no cheese. So that's a pretty strong pizza. Yeah. There is tomato, I'm afraid, on your one, Catherine, despite what? you saying the word tomato. Yeah, there is tomato on there. <gasps> Richard, on the other hand, um, was spectacularly wrong. There were two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Why did yeah, he smothered in cheese, so uh, <laughs> yeah, they were very muddled. I loved Catherine's. I'm not from England. So <laughs> no, <laughs> Damn, I thought Richard crushed it. I speak or... fluently, but I do not know the word cheese. <laughs> 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 we're just about to find out whether anyone has managed to get the uh, employee of a pizza parlor to say the word bubbles. Let's see if they did. Say your name, please. My name is uh, Buble. Sorry. Uh, Buble, spelled B-U-B-B-L-E-S. That's perfect. Do you need my name? Oh, yeah, it's OK. What's yeah, your name? My name is Bubbles. Bubbles? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, oh. Can I... oh, you can say the word Bubbles. Oh, so the first one, John thought he wasn't allowed to say the word. Cause, and then Doc comes in and goes, my name is Bubbles. And she goes, Bubbles? Yeah, so... do you have any Diet Coke? Is it possible to have it um, without the gas in it? Do you have anything flat without... What do you call it when the gas is in the drink? No, we don't have that kind of thing. OK. Do you not remember <laughs> Okay, he just resigned himself to not getting it. When it melts, it like gets puffed up with air and it makes those uh, those pockets of air. What are those? I have no idea what soap is. You blow them, they're in the bathtub and stuff. Like soap makes bubbles. these. That's it! Would, could you do me a huge favor and uh, say bubbles? Bubbles? Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there you are, I love that he said no. <laughs> well, I won't say bubbles. <laughs> Great. So, um, Catherine, Doc and Joe all got them to say bubbles. They all get a bonus point. Right. In terms of the task itself, John got the most accurate pizza order. So he wins it, yeah. So it goes John, then Joe, Why? only got the one mistake, then Catherine, then Doc, then Richard. OK? <laughs> That's the first time you've ever read out a score and John hasn't had some sort of objection. <laughs> <laughs> How's that affected the scores? Ah, well, uh, interesting. It's, there's two points between the top two people, top two people, and uh, they are Doc and then John in first place on 20 points. Wow. All right, Doc might be able to steal one. Will you all please head to the stage for the final task of the show? You must only hold the big chopsticks on the grips provided. The big chopsticks alone may touch the potatoes. Oh, tar. <laughs> Whoever has the most potatoes in their baskets after 100 seconds, wins. What was the, what was <clears throat> the, the middle bit of that? You have to hold I've them. I've read it on once, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah, so you can, you can pick up your chopsticks now if you want. Do you think we should penalise Richard Osman straight away? Because these are like normal sized chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Your time starts. Oh, oh, oh! Richard Osman! What are you doing? <laughs> I like the sideways basket They're idea. all on there, aren't they? All oh, there. no! <laughs> oh, this is interesting. It's an angle, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> In a way. Is your husband finished? <laughs> Do you... <laughs> <laughs> You know the real technique, chat? I think you go basket off stage, use the things to push them like a dump truck, and then make like a little funnel and just push them off the edge so they caress gently into the basket. 15 seconds! <laughs> okay, I'm... 
Yeah. Really dignified. <laughs> Good. Let's bring you all back down here to discuss your tactics. Good well, I guess we have to deal with Richard Osmond first. So, it said on the task, which Joe read so clearly... Thank you. ..the cues alone may touch the potato. And I, I think did. they weren't alone in touching the potato. I'm before. aware. I did not hear him say that. What you heard <laughs> was the cues and big old massive hands can touch the potato. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine got half her potatoes in, five out of ten. <laughs> yeah, he got his John Richardson managed to get not 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. He took one of Joe's. <laughs> Great, and what's that done to the final scores? Well, I can say uh, the person who's won this show has also taken control of the overall lead of the series, and that man is uh, Mr. John Richardson. Wow! <laughs> nice job. Strong performance. So, John Richardson is today's winner. John, please go up and collect your terrible clothes. <laughs> That tonight's winner is John Richardson. Let's go, John.